You guessed it. This video is on the associative property. Here's the definition for the associative property. Like the commutative property, associative property only works for addition and multiplication. This property deals with moving or including parentheses in an expression, equation, or inequality to alter the order of operations. Now why would you want to move a set of parentheses in order to alter the order of operations? Well, some numbers are just easier to add or multiply, but first let's see why the associate property won't work for subtraction and division. So you can see in this example, other than the set of parentheses being located differently, these two expressions are the same. However, the solution for these expressions are not the same. So why are these two problems different? Well, because of the order of operations. We had to solve what was in the parentheses first on both of these expressions before doing anything else. And that's why subtraction, uh, associative property does not work for subtraction. Let's look at division. Same will be true with division. Here we have two expressions that are virtually the same except for the placement of the parentheses. Yet the parentheses has an effect on the order of operations and the result is two different quotients. Looking at addition, you can see why the placement of the parentheses make no difference. So let's go ahead and add what is inside the parentheses first, following the order of operations and moving our algebra tiles as well. And remember, moving the parentheses alters the order of operations and should make the expression easier to solve for. Um, I don't know about you, but I can add 15 and 6 much more quickly than I can add 13 and 8. Okay. And as you can see, we end with the same solution both numerically and with our algebra lab gear. Let's take a look at a multiplication problem with this associate property. And again, we have two expressions here that are virtually the same except for the placement of the parentheses. So fa first we factor what's inside the parentheses. And as you can see, there we halfway through these expressions, um, there are two different stages of development, so to speak. On the left side, 6 is represented, and on the right, 12. Uh, let's go ahead and clear those pieces out, and we'll move them over to one side of our bracket there. Go ahead and factor what is remaining for our expressions. On the left-hand side, we get 6 times 4 is 24, and on the right, 2 times 12 is 24. So the order of operations here made no difference. We still end up with the same results. The associative property can be represented in a different way using our algebra lab gear. Here we have 4, 3, and 2. So it's going to be 4 times 2 times 3 or 4 times 3 times 2. Uh, again, using the commutative property, you can represent this in a number of ways. How we'll go about solving this is actually building our solution right in the middle by not only adding one level, but because we multiply by two, we're going to stack it up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this is the first step. What I have represented here is four times three or three times four. And the reason why it could be either way is because of the So here it is, uh, doubled in height. So I have 12 represented on top, 12 represented on the bottom. Of course, 12 time, or 12 plus 12 is 24. So this is again a second way of showing the solution using our algebra lab gear, with the expression 2 times 3 times 4.